Welcome to Daily Office Devotions, where every Monday through Friday, we ask how God might direct our lives from that day's scripture readings as given in the Book of Common Prayer. I'm Reggie Kidd, and I'm grateful to be with you this Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent as we prepare for Holy Week. We are in year two of the Daily Office Lectionary. The heart is everything. Exodus, hard heart disease. Then the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Exodus chapter 7, verse 14. Over the years, Jewish, Christian, and secularist interpreters have wrestled mightily with the hardening of Pharaoh's heart. Ten times the book of Exodus says that Yahweh hardens Pharaoh's heart. Nine times the book of Exodus says that Pharaoh hardens his own heart, or simply that his heart is hardened. I confess the dynamic remains a mystery to me. But because the locus of the problem for Pharaoh lies in the heart, the center of our being that is oriented either toward or away from God, the plagues do challenge all of us to do a check up on our own hearts. If our heart is inclined towards him, bad things no less than good will cause us to bless his name. If our heart is tilted away from him, good things no less than bad will contribute to our disdain for him. A financial windfall can be as detrimental to our spiritual heart condition as a huge loss. A bad medical diagnosis has as much capacity to lead us to a deeper love for God as does a good one. Everything that happens to us either pushes us further away from God or pulls us further in. Second Corinthians, a heart that takes ink. You yourselves are our letter written on our hearts to be known and read by all. And you show that you are a letter of Christ prepared by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 2 through 3. I take pleasure in writing notes by hand. Given a wide nib fountain pen or a wide rollerball pen and luxurious cardstock, I delight to see words take shape. After a few lines, I find myself writing with a flourish. It's irritating, by contrast, to have a restaurant server expect you to sign a bill with a dried up fine point ballpoint pen on thin glossy paper that won't even take ink. I try to redeem every instance in which that happens by quietly praying, Lord, let this not be me. May my heart be a luxurious place for you to write. May my life unfold as a living epistle under your hand. May this Lenten season in which we examine ourselves, repent, pray, fast, deny ourselves, and read and meditate on God's holy word be a time in which we freshly discover the Lord's own joy in finding our hearts luxuriously receptive to the ink of his hand. Mark, a heart given to relationship. The surest gauge for whether our heart is turned toward God is whether it is turned toward people. If we love God, we're going to love those who bear his image. Jesus says two of the biggest tests for that are how we're doing with the image bearer to whom we are married, if indeed we are married. And if not, there are principles here that apply to our relationship with God and with others and how we're doing with the little ones in our life and who doesn't relate to children in at least some way. If in our marriage we are keeping the back door open just in case, if our career is more important than our home, if we are keeping a little something, something on the side, or in a fantasy world, then there's a heart problem. If on the other hand, we're all in emotionally, mentally, spiritually, our heart is where it needs to be. If our attitude toward the kids in our life is condescending, and if our treatment of them is unkind and indifferent, then there's a heart problem. If on the other hand, the amazing miniature human beings in our lives know they are not only safe with us, but that we value, respect, and cherish them, our heart is where it needs to be. Lord, forgive us when our hearts grow hard against you. 
Grant us a heart of flesh instead of a heart of stone. May we see your providing hand in every part of our lives. May we receive with grace the writing of your story into ours. May we find joy in serving you and those you place close in our lives. Be blessed this day.